Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hi there and welcome to The Naomi Show. Thanks for joining us. Well, with Valentine's Day only days away, it's a time when a lot of guys are feeling the pressure to come up with ideas to impress their partner. And today I'm joined by my three dating advisors, Crystal Forskett, Lily Romano and Toddy Goldsmith, who are here to give guys some insights into what girls think about Valentine's Day. Some tips, the do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day and some suggestions about what to buy your Valentine. And firstly, Totty, what do you think of Valentine's Day? Do you enjoy it? Um, look, if I'm single, it's always tricky with everyone going yeah. on about it. And if you're in early stages of a relationship, I think it's very tricky as well because you don't want to be overly, you yes. know, letting you the cat out of the bag. Yes. You don't want to be too keen. So I think you've got, got to be smart about it and kind of measure it according to where the relationship's at. And I think you can't go wrong with flowers. Yes, I agree. And I love cards. Yes. I just love getting a card. Well, that's where it all started, Valentine's. So it yeah. started with cards. So. so I think it's that simple. I don't like, you know, guys buying me jewellery I'm not going to love. I think that's really <laughs> risky unless you really know the person. It's always risky. Appropriate jewellery, I think. Yeah. Really, you have a story about that. Yes. Um, I think steer clear of the rings. Yes. I was um, given a ring once and I almost had a heart attack falling yeah. off the boat oh. in the middle of the Mediterranean. Oh. What am I going to tell my parents? Oh. Way too young for this. Avoid the rings. It's yeah. too confusing. It a is. Necklace, isn't it? A, a ring is confusing, guys. I think across yeah. the board, unless you're asking her to marry you, it's a bit too confusing, isn't it? Yes. When that little box Very comes scary. sliding across the table to yeah. you yeah. and your stops. life starts flashing yeah. before your eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> That's but, not to say that we don't like yeah. rings, and we love the idea of jewellery, don't we? Yes. The jewellery is pretty, and but I... But guys tend to have bad taste when it comes to jewellery, so take, like, a female friend. That's all I can suggest, because I... Take their I've, best friend. Yeah, like, it's... it's best sometimes. girlfriend, you mean? The best, best girlfriend, girlfriend of the woman. Yes, that's right, yeah. That's always a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think Definitely. that's a good idea, because it, it can all go awry, can't it, with a mm. piece of jewellery that's... Something really gaudy or, <laughs> yeah, full on. <laughs> Oh and, and hearts, like I'm not a big fan of hearts and I think guys think Valentine's Day, I'll get her a heart and it ends up being something that's really cheesy, <laughs> like you see all these little ornaments, yeah. sort of, you know, ornate sort of things. But I think you can't go wrong with them. chocolates and you can't yep. go wrong Chocolate. with dinner. But I did have a really bad Valentine's dinner where the guy had the table right where the, everyone was walking in and so he spent the whole time looking at who was walking in oh. the restaurant. I was oh, you're so kidding. offended. I mean, like, that's bad oh, enough on a yet. date, but on Valentine's Day. That was rude. But that said so much about him. Yes. So it, it was did. good. It nailed it for me. So the kind of gifts that we would find are great for Valentine's Day, jewellery is okay, isn't it? But they need to get some advice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Advice. What other kinds of things? Now, flowers, obviously, and chocolates. Chockies, yeah. I think a weekend away, something mm. different, spontaneous, the usual dinner in a busy restaurant can be a little bit like, well, you haven't really put too much thought into mm. this. Well, oh. that's if you're into stage two of the relationship a weekend yeah. away. If I you're guess. already sleeping together, it's yeah. all right. Otherwise, oh, yeah. it's like, what? <laughs> we <laughs> <have> two rooms? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back up, back up. <laughs> but it's yeah. so hard for guys because they're really under quite a bit of pressure, aren't they? To actually come up with some great ideas for Valentine's Day mm. or something new and oh, fresh. Horse riding to the wineries or that's a great doing idea. Doing some yeah. picnic on the beach. Ballooning would ballooning. be great. Ballooning, it's very romantic. Hot air ballooning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be great? It's actually romantic. not that romantic. Is it not? Well, you're sharing this balloon with like 12 other people. You have to get yeah. up at 5:30 in work. the morning. You're not going to be in the best mood. No, you are. <laughs> Gold class <laughs> cinema. True. Gold class cinema. That's a good uh, idea, yes. Yeah. That would be nice. Something or outdoor intimate. cinema or yeah. something like that. Or even if you know the person well enough, like concert tickets for their favourite band that might be coming to town or yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. But I think the thing for, for women is it doesn't even have to be something really expensive, no. does it? Mm, no. I mean, they could just cook you dinner, like sort of set it up with the candles mm, and set yeah. up the atmosphere. More Isn't sentimental. That, yeah. 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 Women are romantic by nature, I mm. think. And we all, we all we need to know is that they've made some sort of an effort that we're on mm. their mind yeah. and they've put yeah. a little bit of effort into it that it's not the last minute thing. They've gone, oh, I've got to pull yes. something mm. together. It, that just softens women. And if you want to get, you know, laid, the night, <laughs> butter her up. Which just apparently prepare. is what guys are it's after on Valentine's Day. All about Day. that. After speaking to the guys, that's what it was all yeah. about. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah, we can imagine. I mean, look, and the thing is also, guys think a practical gift is, is a good idea, mm -mm. not no. for Valentine's Day. Like, when I received that bread maker and I don't <laughs> take <up> bread. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's yeah. red. But I don't. It was sort of like the most inappropriate Valentine's Day gift you yeah. could give. I've got a vacuum cleaner. Uh, are you kidding? No, and that was oh, all about thoughtful. me cleaning. Oh, yeah, that's that a bit like so sort of complete hint, hint do the housework, oh. woman, kind of. Yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you're listening to this. <laughs> I, thank you, girls. There's some tips for you, and that's our show for today. And just to remind you, we love to hear your ideas and suggestions. And if you have any questions for the girls, the guys, or our experts, please leave them on the website at naomishow.com. You'll need to become a member, but it's quick, easy, and it's free, and there are plenty of special offers for members to take advantage of too. You can also leave your video blogs or questions which we may even use in the show. So don't be shy, send them in. We look forward to hearing from you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.